I've been working with Paul now for the last few weeks. He's going to help me all the way through this fight camp. Paul is like, and I don't say this lightly, Paul's a master of his art, you know. It's the bits in between. Like, I think I'm a good striker, and I am a good striker, you know. You put me in a, in a, in a cage, in a ring or whatever, and I'll, and I'll, you know, I can strike with anyone in the world. I'm a world-class striker. The difference is Paul knows the bits in between, the, the way you're landing your feet after your shots have, have landed, where's your balance, are you taking your weight over to one side, are you extending your toes well enough. And them aspects of that, the game that, that he knows he's, he's bringing into my game, it's, um, I feel like he's made, making another evolution in my striking game, just like when I train with big guys over at Elite Boxing. Uh, I'm Paul Webb, I, I'm Chief Coach of um, Pine Art Muay Thai. I've been training in Thai boxing now for wow, 26 years. Uh, we're steeped. Um, we've been working on a lot of movement, um, setting himself, not getting too much on top, um, working on his roundhouse, making sure he's getting the most out of his roundhouse. Same with his push kicks, getting them push kicks right, sweeps, all kinds of stuff really what he wouldn't normally do in his, his other disciplines. This morning with Paul we did like 10 rounds on the pads and then I had to move around with him for a few rounds where he's trying to get me to apply the stuff that we did on the pads with him and obviously when, you, when you're working with someone like Paul it's difficult to apply it because every little mistake you make he, he capitalises on it and, that, and that's the beauty of it. Um, when you go into someone else's zone like that, like I'm a mixed martial artist, when I go into Paul's zone where he, he's a Thai boxing master specialist, I jump in there with him. He makes me pay for every little mistake I get, so I've got to try and be that little bit more inch perfect than I would have to be in MMA. So when I get that now, I, and, and I'm, I'm at the point where that's, that is my normal game and I bring that across to MMA, there's no one going to stop me, man. Um, next fight, this fight that's coming up, you're going to see a whole new evolution to my striking game. Um, you've not seen me fight yet. You've not seen me fight. I'll just say, I'll leave it at that. You've not seen me fight yet. I'm going to prove in the next couple of fights that I am the best lightweight in Europe and then uh, I'm going to prove that I'm the best lightweight in the world and it's as simple as that, that's all it is.